What's up everybody, I am Legend and in this video I'm teaching how to record harmonies in your songs. We've already talked about how to do lead vocals, but today I'm focusing on the techniques that I use to record harmonies in any DAW. Even though I'm working in Logic Pro X slash GarageBand, this can be applied to any DAW that you're working with. You just have to use your own interface. Let's dive in. So if you haven't already checked out my how to record vocals video that talks about how I record my lead vocals, be sure to check out that video linked above. But today we're focusing specifically on how to record harmonies because it's not as simple as you might think it is. Now, sometimes it can be, but there are techniques that you can use to make your songs sound nice, lush, and full. I'm working on the song called Peace and Love that I started on my stream um, last Saturday. I just wanna live in peace. Got a nice lead vocal. Love in peace and love. Now we do have one harmony in here on the chorus. This was to kind of get a more simple approach in this section of the song because the beat is pretty much really stripped down and dialed back at this point of the song. So I didn't want to put harmony stacks on here. So the first thing that you want to do recording your harmonies is decide where you're going to put the harmonies. And the reason why you want to know exactly where is because sometimes, like in this case, if I were to put a whole bunch of how I usually record four stacks, but since it's so stripped down here in the instrumental, literally just the guitar, you don't always want to load it down with a full choir of vocals. You want it to match the intensity of the music. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and go with the lead vocal and the lead vocal dub. So this is one way to record harmonies. You just record two lead vocals, you know, you do some processing to make it sound a little bit more full, and I'll show you what that sounds like. So I'll play the lead here. I just want to live. Just one lead. In peace. In love. I just want to live in peace. Now listen to this harmony. In love. In peace. In love. So, one trick that I utilize when I'm recording vocals like this, and I want it to sound more stripped down, but I also want to have that harmony in there, is I just do a simple duplicate of that lead vocal that we already have. I put that here and I record onto that. So, you know, just select it, you click record, and you record wherever you want to record. But then I process the vocal a little bit differently because here I still want it to have some kind of surround sound effect. And usually with the panning, when you record four vocals of one part, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, the reason you do that is to achieve a more full sound, but when you have one or two vocals on a part, you can't utilize that. So you have to use plugins to achieve that effect. So we've already recorded the second uh, part to this. In love, in peace. So that's what it sounds like without any of the effects applied. Now the way to get this to sound more like there's not like there's multiple voices, but in a sense, it kind of does sound like that, but it just makes it sound more full. Uh, the way to do this is what I like to do when I'm doing these one-off uh, stacks, not like four or two or whatever, is I'll throw on my processing. So in this case, we'll just use Greg Wells Voice Centric, and I'll talk about uh, plugins in a future video when I uh, talk about how to mix your vocals because I'm gonna do another video on that. So you record your lead vocal, we have it here, and then the stack is here, and it's gonna be just one, and I turn the doubler all the way up, or like at least halfway, but probably a little bit more than halfway, because what that does is it doubles without doubling the vocal. It doubles the sound. It kind of gives it this chorusy effect. And I also maxed out the reverb, so it has a lot of that reverberation going on, the, the bouncing off the walls. It sounds a little bit more full and like the vocal is filling a room rather than it sounding like this. In love, in peace. Like that still sounds good, don't get me wrong, but when you put it here, it just doesn't have the same character. So we add a doubler, whether you wanna come in here and you know select, uh, and of course don't add it at the top of the list, but I'm just showing you where it's at. You would come to modulation and chorus. You can do spreader. Um, those are two of the main ones that I would utilize if it's a stock plugin. We have this section here on the right hand side. So this is our spreader. We could switch it to three different types of doubler effects. So we have stereo, wide, and spreader. Now they all have similar sounding vibes, 
but you can tell there's a clear difference between them. But right now, since we're using Greg Wells voice centric, I'm not worrying about any of that. So then we add more reverb as well. I'm just using Greg Wells voice centric to achieve that. You can use whatever plugins you want. It doesn't have to be Greg Wells, but it gets this effect. Basically, I say all that to say when you want to keep stuff stripped down because some people do want to record harmonies, but they don't want it to be as full as the way that I do them, which is four to eight stacks per part. Um, you can approach it this way, especially if you're like the singer songwriter, guitar, acapella kind of person. This is, I've been utilizing this more simple approach uh, recently because a lot of my songs have been more stripped down or simplified. But meanwhile, others, they're meant to sound more full and like a choir or a big group of people are singing. To sum it off, you record your harmonic part along with the lead vocal if you want to do you know, one-offs, so we have two, and then to each one of them, or at least the, the one that you dubbed, add a spreader slash a doubler here with whatever plugin you're gonna use, whether it's stock or something like this, and then also add a reverb. You can turn it up to however much you personally want. That's entirely up to you, uh, but I like to max it out because I'm trying to get that full effect without having to stack the vocal. So that's if you wanna be more chill. We wanna to get to a part where there's a little bit more instrumentation, there's drums playing now, there's a little bit more synths and, and things like that going on. The track is more busy. So we want to match the intensity of the track by adding more vocals. Because here, yes, it does work the same exact way that we recorded here. I copied and pasted the same vocals. <laughs> So it does still sound good, but because there's more going on, it just doesn't sound like it's enough. So in this case, any case where there's a lot going on in your music, I would strongly recommend you use stacking. Now stacking is another word for doubling, only I use stacking because doubling, it's like two, you double, you do two. But stacking is I'm doing three or more. Usually when I stack my vocals, I never do stacking in odd numbers because the way that you pan the vocals is very important. So what you wanna do, uh, you can either download my uh, Logic Pro X template or my GarageBand template if you have either of those programs. If you're working in something totally different, then just follow my uh, instructions on this part. What you wanna do is set all the settings of that particular track exactly how you want it on every single harmony. So you if you have a specific set of uh, patches or presets or whatever you wanna apply to a vocal and apply to all your vocals, make sure you do that first. So this right here, let's just say that uh, these are my plugins, this is my chain that I want for this particular vocal. I would then say, okay, take that, and I would command D. I would duplicate it in whatever program you're using three times so that you have four different tracks for one vocal, okay? We're gonna record the exact same part four times on four different tracks. We're not recording one part and then duplicating it because that's not gonna get the same effect and I'll show you that as well. In peace and love, I just wanna... So we're gonna, we're gonna record that four times, four more times. So there's gonna be five of the lead vocal but five unique recordings, okay? This is very important. Do not duplicate one vocal, okay? Um, because the difference in each vocal is going to make the sound the way that we need it to sound. We need those slight imperfections. So we come here and we line it up where we're gonna record. And we do that because this is meant to be an emphasis. If this is the melody, then we want the melody to be the strongest and, and, and most prominent sounding vocal of the bunch. Otherwise, people are not gonna know which part to sing. You know, you gotta direct a listener's ears somewhere. So this is the way to do it. So. I just wanna live in peace and love in peace and love. I just wanna live in peace and love in peace and love. All 
right, so you see how it sounds. It doesn't sound like it's coming from one person because it's obviously not. If you were to duplicate this, right? So in theory, you would think it sounds the same, right? No, it literally just sounds like you're turning the vocal up. This does nothing for panning. This does nothing for surround sound. So this is why you can't just duplicate a vocal four times and then think it's the same even though you pan it not. It's not the same because if I play this by itself, and love, uh, it just sounds like one vocal is turned up. This is the difference. I just want to live in peace. That's why it's important. And love, uh, uh, in peace. It's just one voice. And love, Make sure you do an even number, whether it's two or four, I, but I would recommend four, okay? I would recommend at least four. So the way to get your vocals to sound this full and this surround sound, this is the most important part. So when you record your four stacks, you don't want them all to be panned straight down the middle and all coming, you know, from straight down the middle because it doesn't have the same effect. What you want to do is pan your vocals to the left and to the right. So since we have four in this case, I pan 100% to the left and 100% to the right, and then 50% to the left and 50% to the right. In Logic and GarageBand, this comes out to being a negative 64 pan to the left, a positive 64 pan to the right, then a negative 33 pan to the left and a positive 33 pan to the right, as you can see. So it's basically full, full, half, half. And that way you get vocals that are all the way. So if we're looking at the soundscape in terms of like an orb around our our ears, right? We have all the way pans, which are gonna be right here. This is the 100 and 100. Then we have 50 and 50. So the vocal, if you think visually, it's kind of like having speakers all the way to your side and then speakers kind of in the middle right here. So you're getting these vocals and these vocals and it sounds like people are around you. And then we have our lead vocal, which is coming straight down the middle. So that takes care of the middle vocal. So that's what you wanna do in any DAW. This is exactly the same. I just wanna to be as exact as you can. Ah, And of course, we'll add some more processing to this vocal so that the mix is a little bit better. Now, this is a tedious process. Don't get me wrong. It is very, very time consuming when you're recording four part harmonies. That means you're recording four, eight, 12, 16 vocals. And on some sections of the song, you know, if there's multiple sections that have these stacks, that's a lot of time. However, trust me when I say the result that you get in the end is well worth it. I just wanna live in peace and love in peace and love. I just wanna live in peace and love in peace. So now in this case, uh, we're gonna go down here. So we have bus one, what else is going to bus one? Okay, so our our vocals are going to bus one, which I've already pre-configured with some like stacking uh, stock plugins. However, I'm gonna change this to my personal favorites for my stacked plugins, which are gonna be two plugins. One is uh, CLA Vocals. And then the other is going to be Greg Wells, voice centric. So from here, we're gonna process these vocals the same way kind of that we did this lead vocal here by adding a little bit of a spreader and some reverb as well. So I'm gonna use this chamber. And the oven is. Now, if I wanna make this a little less dramatic, I don't have to go in and turn down this. I can literally go in and edit this plug in here. And since it's on a bus channel that has, you know, all these vocals applied, they're all on bus one. If I change the setting here, it's gonna apply that setting, that reverb that I just edited to turn it down here to all these vocals because they're all being routed to that bus channel. So this is why it's great to have, but if you're working with GarageBand, just know you'll have to do this individually on every single plugin. So it has these, 
kinds of effects and settings that are not only going to save you a lot of time in processing your vocals, but a lot of processing power itself and RAM space because using a lot of plugins, if I applied this chain, even though it's two, to all of these vocals, that's 32 instances of plugins. Whereas if it we're using a bus channel, that 32 gets squashed down to two. Literally two. Let's see how it sounds. A thousand horsepower, because the time is out. Why you chipping off the powder, huh? In love, in peace. In love, I just wanna live in peace. All right, so I'm gonna do one other stack, and this is, again, different methods to stacking vocals. I could easily, this next part that I wanna do, I could easily do a four-part stack for that, but it's more so, uh, the part that I'm recording, it's more so meant to be something that's just barely uh, heard. It's contributing to the overall sound, but it's not something that's supposed to be a focus, like the three-part harmony we have here. We're gonna take this vocal and duplicate it here, so we have the exact same effects applied, and we're gonna do like a kind of higher octave, or higher note, rather. Why you chipping off the powder, huh? And love, in peace. And love, I just wanna I'm hot like the heater was blazing a two-seater. I'm moving fast like 200 miles an hour. A thousand horsepower, because the time is ours. Why you tripping off the powder, huh? faintly in the background. I don't want it to be as strong as the and I, um. So that's why I only did one stack and I added the doubler uh, via Greg Wells. So essentially this is how I record my stacks. Now of course we could finish the whole song but it's gonna be the same things that would apply. When you wanna be more chilled out with your stacks and, and you wanna implement harmonies, you can either go the very, very stripped down route and only do one part uh, one track per harmony, like how I have here. In love, in and it still sounds good because of the way that I processed it. So you throw on that doubler, you throw on a spreader, throw on a chorus effect, one of those, give it some reverbs so it has room to breathe and echo and feel like it's bigger than it really is. On the other hand, when we get into uh, the songs or parts of the song that have a little bit more instrumentation. There's more going on. Four stacks, so we have four, four, and four. That's 16 vocals that we recorded all individually. And then we have the lead, which is the melody here. That's gonna be this first lead slash emphasis stack here. Um, we have one more part where this comes in. The Ella, uh, Ella, uh. So I wanted that to kind of stand out as well. Um, as just having the stacks here because the stacks weren't gonna be enough. I need that harmony to be strong. Use these tactics for your benefit when you're recording in whatever DAW that you use. Like I said, this was done in Logic. So the next video in this little series is going to be adding plugins to your vocals, how to process your vocals to make them sound more professional, how to get studio quality, release ready vocals. I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.